How y'all doing, guys? Paul Ryan back here again with another late night pod, which of course has been the theme lately. So I do apologize for that, guys. Before we're talking to Cowboys, man, I gotta say, Game One of the NBA Finals is in the books. Mavericks lost by a lot. You know, it was never really close. You know, I say that in the third quarter, man. You know, the Mavericks got it all the way down to within eight points, and it looked like something was the tide was turning, if you will. Unfortunately, the Celtics made. Uh, I believe it was an 8-0 run with like a three, you know, within th- less than three minutes, like two and a half minutes. And, you know, from there, the Cow- the excuse me, not the Cowboys, but the Mavericks never really caught up. But speaking of the Cowboys, of course, this being a Cowboys channel, we have, we should talk some Cowboys. Um, a couple of things here. I didn't see much scrolling the internet. However, one player I've heard a lot of uh, pub about, a potential wide receiver three. You know, we've talked a lot about that on the channel. Who could be the wide receiver three? Could it be Devontae Turpin? Could it be Jalen Tolbert? Jalen Brooks. He's a guy that has been talked about lately, and he's been making some noise. And Bobby Belt, he said as of right now, or excuse me, this is a couple of days ago, but his quote was, as of as of today, my favorite to, to be the Cowboys wide receiver three is Jalen Brooks. So that's a guy to keep you, your eyes on. Um, and uh, the third round pick, Liafu. I, I, you know, I, I didn't look up the pronunciation of his name again. It's late, guys. But he just keeps you keep hearing positive reports about him. I saw Patrick Nosey Walker uh, talking about quoting him, saying that Liafu was going to use this downtime not to relax, but to continue to get better, to keep working. And man, you just got to love that mindset. You've got to love having players with that kind of work ethic especially on your defense where, you know, got, there's been a lot of character issues, not necessarily bad guys, but is the desire there, is the work ethic there, is the discipline there, you know, a, a variety of things. And just to have a rookie coming in here and doing that on his own, hopefully setting the tone for the rest of the defense, you'd love to hear that. And uh, last but not least, it sounded like their uh, offense and defense were having a, a, a good uh, series there in practice where, at uh, one point, uh, Eric Hendricks tipped the ball. Donovan Wilson full uh, laid out fully in the in the back of the end zone, intercepting the ball. And then on the very next play, Dak Prescott getting one on the defense, threading the needle and finding Brandon Cooks in the back of the end zone. So, hey, you know, it's always nice to talk cow- Cowboys football. It's always nice just to talk football as we get closer to the season. I know we still got a little boys away, but... You know, any any little nugget we have that gets us closer to the season, I guess, is something to talk about. It's always exciting. So, you know, anything I find that I, I find interesting or cool, um, of course, I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys riding with me, locking in, and subscribing to the channel. I look forward to uh, the rest of the offseason. I hope you're, everyone's having a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.